Have you ever noticed how walking the peaceful pastures of a farm can make your troubles seem to melt away? In our final story, Miranda Cohen takes us to a very special place in Rutherford County where you can discover some special barnyard animals and their inspirational stories about healing. When you walk on the property, there's an energy that you feel. It's, it's just peaceful, it's just calming. You know, we can say an exhale. Jay Weiner is quick to point out that he is the co-founder of The Gentle Barn. The original Gentle Barn was founded by his wife, Ellie Lax, in California in 1999. He started volunteering at the farm, and he's not quite sure if he fell in love with the animals or with Ellie Lax first. We had some abuse in our lives, and we had things that weren't good that animals healed and we were both sort of saved by animals as children, and we both wanted to give that back. Fast forward 15 years, the couple learned of a cow in need in Tennessee named Dudley. Faced with the dilemma of how to get an injured cow across the country, they found the perfect solution. So we started looking and we, we came across this amazing, incredible, beautiful place. And uh, this is 40 acres, and it allows us to do the work we need to do. We've got three barns and a house for people to come and stay at to visit, pastures, and enough room for the animals to graze and, and move about. The Gentle Barn is located in Christiana in Rutherford County, and it is the only farm animal sanctuary in Middle Tennessee. So we'll, uh, we'll go in and we'll hug a cow. and around them is it's a fly mask. Oh, okay. And uh, what it does is it has um, a couple different purposes. Number one is that it keeps the flies away from their eyes. Oh, okay. Um, but they can see through it. They can see through it. It's like a screen door, and it also shades the sun. We have cows, we have horses, pigs, we have some goats, we have turkeys and chickens. All of the beloved animals at the Gentle Barn have been rescued and have unique stories of their own. Miles and his mother, Maybelle, were saved from abuse and neglect at a dairy farm. Lolly suffered frostbite on her feet and ears after being left outside in the cold. She, along with her parents, Minnie Mae and Merlin, are now thriving in these beautiful green pastures. And as you can see, nothing is slowing Lolly down. The fact that she lives a normal life and, and loves her life and loves her family and plays and all those kinds of things is inspiring to someone who comes to the Gentle Barn in a wheelchair. A handsome rooster named Rick Springfield was found running around at the Nashville airport and a bright and curious turkey named Luke Skywalker round out the flock party. But it's not all leisure and play. These gorgeous creatures have an important job. They are helping people learn to deal with their own issues, get beyond abuse or abandonment, and see things a little differently. We really want to show people how beautiful animals are and how they're just like us. I think that where that comes from is this preconceived notion that our domesticated animals that we have in our homes with us all the time are the only ones that understand us or that we can have a connection with. But uh, I'm here to tell you that, you know, you can play ball with the cows, you can, you know, cuddle with the turkeys, you can, you know, there's so many different things that, that animals of all different kinds show us. And we want to share that message. So we work with our animals to heal them from the abusive or neglectful stories that they come in with and then we connect them with the children and people of the community that need them. One of the most amazing things that you can do here at the Gentle Barn is called cow hug therapy. These gentle beauties are quite the cuddlers and you can actually come and snuggle with them. And founder Ellie Lax says it best, you can't have a bad day after hugging a cow.
So cow hug therapy uh, started at the beginning of the gentle barn in 1999. As far as we know, we're the first ones to be doing it. Even every one of the Crossroads crew had to give it a try. They are able to one-on-one -on -one come out to the gentle barn and have this experience with a, a cow that is so warm and, and inviting and caring and nurturing that they just have these profound experiences. What you will see and feel at the gentle barn is tenderness, love, and compassion. In these beautiful faces, you will never see fear, loneliness, or worry about the future. These gentle souls will live out their lives here, working with adults and children. They are living proof that there is hope for the future. But when, when we're talking to a child who feels isolated and alone, and isn't being cared for and was neglected or abused, that story in the connection between them is healing in and of itself. So once we introduce them to the animal, what you'll see often is a petting that'll happen and uh, they'll be saying to the horse, you know, don't worry, you're gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. And they're really talking to themselves. So whether you're an animal lover, just long for a day of farm fresh air, or come to see and love on these beautiful farm animals, don't be surprised if you walk away feeling a little more loved on yourself. We've just seen these children and adults go through these monumental life changes within within hours of being here. I think that there's an energy about this property and about the work that we do and about the calmness and care of the animals and the staff that works here that I think provides a, a place and a way for them to have an exhale or a release or a, a breath.